All right, so we are team semicolon, and we've gotten a lot of questions about how we uh, are coloring our parts and our metal. And so today we're going to do a tutorial on how to uh, dye your uh, gears and whatever. So the first things you're going to need is uh, we have our acetone here, and then uh, we have a bowl for dyeing all of our parts, and then we also have a thermometer to get our temperature right, and then we also have our dye here. So those are the main components that you're going to need. And then, so we're just going to start by uh, filling this bad boy up. So you can just put like, it doesn't really matter how much water is in there. You just have to get a good ratio and enough to cover all of your parts. All right, so that seems about good. And then once we get that, then we want to do about equal parts dye, equal parts acetone. So we'll put in our dye. So black and blue or just making yeah, like dark blue. Dark blue. So this is not really an exact science. You just sort of go for it. We have black and blue, but you can do whatever mixture you want really. You can see the dye looks almost black, but this should give us a pretty decent blue result. Um, and then once we have that, then we will uh, <laughs> pop open your acetone, <laughs> pour some of that in there. And then you're ready to start heating. So when you're heating acetone, it will boil at a lower temperature than water will. So um, it's good to be in a ventilated space and if you have some fans and you can open the windows and that's going to be your uh, safest bet. Um, and then later on the line when we're adding acetone, uh, it's best to mix it with water first. Alright, so once we have our mixture to this like boiling-ish point, it'll be at like 150, 160 and this is just going to be slowly heating up. So we can start to add our parts and so we can do any plastic parts that Vex has, like gears or wheels or uh, flex wheels, anything like that. So Spacers. True. Um, so just try not to splash any of this on yourself. But you can really just do as many parts uh, in here as get submerged. And then um, you can use like some utensil or anything to uh, stir them around. For things like uh, wheels, generally it takes uh, longer for them to die, so you might need uh, to leave them in for longer or to have more uh, acetone. So we can just add more water and acetone as we go to accommodate for the amount of parts that we want to do. So like I said earlier when we are doing acetone, you always want to mix it with water first, because if uh, you had acetone to already boiling or almost boiling water, it will splash out and you don't want to get hit by any hot foods. Alright, so you can see now that our uh, concoction has hit a temperature of 190 degrees and so that's where you're going to want to keep it for the duration of the dyeing. So you're just going to sort of keep the gears or whatever you're dyeing in there until uh, they start to show color and see what you want. And if you're doing stuff like smaller, like spacers, then you're going to want to stir the pot while you're doing this, or else the colors are going to be a bit more scattered in the depth. So we're just adding in some more acetone and dye, because these parts didn't seem to be dying after around 10 or 15 minutes, so just going to add in some more, see if they start to look any better. So you can see after we've been dying for a while, we get this sort of blackish color here. So we've had to add in more dye and acetone a few times, and so uh, once you've been dying for a while, you'll want to add more in. Um, and so the red gears take a little longer, but these are how the uh, green ones have turned out. So they look blacker on camera, but they're actually kind of blue. <laughs> so we ended up deciding to just go with a lot more black because the blue wasn't really dying. So we had a lot more black, so this is what it looks like. It's really easy to dye all parts black because you just throw in a load of black dye. You don't even really need acetone for it. 
Um, so it turns out this uh, red color that Vex makes doesn't really dye very well with the blue, and it turned out more purple. So if that's what you're going with, then, uh, or if that's what you're going for, then that would be good, but uh, we just decided to go with this black. So looks really good. And Here are some of the parts that we've dyed in the past, and as you can see, we've been able to get quite a few different colors ranging from blue to black. Um, and with spacers, you can get some cool colors like a deeper blue. And then we've also been able to get uh, like some more like cloudy colors. You can't really see it very well, but um, that's pretty cool. And then like we dyed some wheels, so the rollers tend to uh, wear out the dye, but the uh, inner part keeps its color pretty nicely. So you can see that on like this Omni wheel or the Mechanum wheel. And then the flex wheels, they dye really nicely. So we've been able to get some darker blues and some lighter blues. The gray is able to get like basically any color you want. So um, they're really nice. And so yeah, there's all the different colors that we've gotten from our experience.